Have you ever wondered how portrait photographers and Photoshop artists edit and improve portrait photos? Do you want to learn the industry standard Photoshop retouching and effects techniques? Hi there, my name's Chad Newman and I'd like to welcome you to the Photoshop Portrait Retouching and Effects Master Course. This course will benefit you in numerous ways. You'll learn various helpful techniques and methods in portrait corrections, such as improving color and lighting in your photos. You'll learn how to master industry standard retouching techniques. You'll learn how to apply camera raw filter editing techniques and you'll explore special effects and stylizing techniques to create even more amazing photos and graphics. And finally, you'll also learn various ways to artistically convert your color photos to black and white for rich tonality. These are methods you can use in your own photos or you can offer these skills as services for clients after adding them to your photo editing toolkit. Before we get started, you might be wondering why am I qualified to teach this course on Photoshop? Well, I've used Photoshop as internet development director at an award-winning advertising design firm, as webmasters at newspapers and a library system. I was also managing editor of two graphic design magazines, and I've used Photoshop as a freelancer. That's actually me at Photoshop World running the Illustrator Brief years ago. I've also taught Photoshop at three universities in classes such as photography, digital layout and design, web page design, and advanced digital imaging. This is a hands-on course which features various lessons on editing techniques in which you can follow along. The sections also have assignments so that you can practice even more and post your work to the discussion boards for critique from me and the other students. A quick note, if you're already familiar with file formats and modes, feel free to skip the next two lectures. But it is important to know upfront how to save your files as you follow along in these lessons. For example, some file formats include compression, which will make your files smaller, but they might not have as good quality. And other formats save layers so you can keep working on your images with layers while others do not. So let's get started learning and editing in Photoshop.